Call all your friends. Another entertaining game at the old ballpark tonight. Bottom of the second. Hens down 2-2 on for Derek Hill. Deep drive to left center. Clears the wall. Hill 2 for 3. 3 RBI. Toledo with the lead in the game. In the fourth, looking to add to it. Hill in scoring position for Isaac Paredes. Singles in her center. Hill, he scored three times tonight. Toledo up 6-3. Paredes thrown out at second. But Toledo cruising. That is until the seventh inning. Man on for Nashville's Chad Spanberger. And that's not the sound the Hens wanted to hear. Towering drive down the right field line. Two-run blast. Nashville would tie the game in the eighth. But in the home half of the eighth, Hens with two on. Zach Short, yeah, he came up big. The shortstop finding Hesman Alley. That's your game winner. 9-6 the final. Hens now 2-0 with a pair of come-from-behind victories. In my career, I've kind of struggled a little bit with runners to scoring position. And I don't know if that's pressing. You know, you're trying to help everybody out. Um, but, yeah, I mean, especially, you know, we got down early. You know, they you – know, the last two days, you know, coming back like that, it's, it's such a good team win. And – you know, the atmosphere we have in this clubhouse is awesome, you know, and especially whoever it is, you know, scoring in the last inning or at the end of the game like that, you know, just makes the energy contagious, you know, and it's such a fun locker room to be to be in when you're winning like that, and especially in the later part of the game like that. You know, the guys have been putting good at bats. Even you're talking about the home runs. I mean, Panero's down two strikes, Hill's down two strikes, and they end up getting walks before Shorty hits the homer. So the little things do matter. They're going to swing the bats well, make solid contact. And that's what happens when you're able to do that. I mean, Hess, CJ, and Rafi, they work in the cages with these guys every day. People don't understand these guys come in, they hit, they go back out and they hit later and stuff. It, it's really good to see get some results against another team. Well, let's head back downtown where Matt Melzak and Jim Weber are standing by. All right, thank you. Boy, what a way to go to 2 and oh, Jim. Uh, I mean, you yeah. You grab a lead, you're leading most of the game, you give it up, and then boom, three run shot, you win it. But there's more to the story. Before you had the lead, we were down two nothing. Came back and took a three to two lead, and so forth and so on. Finally, with a six to three lead, they catch us. And then of all people, the last guy you'd expect to hit a game winning home run, Zach Short, did just that. In the bottom of the eighth, the Bud Hens win nine to six, a two and oh start. 2-0 start, and in the two games, they've scored 17 runs. And we used a whole lot of pitchers in this game, but I think we're going to see a lot of that this year. The Tigers want to see uh, different people in different situations, but uh, just another thriller. And I can't remember the last time we started 2-0, but I'm going to look it up. Yeah, certainly a great start for the Toledo Monahans. Hats off, too, to the number nine hitter in the lineup, Derek Hill on base four times tonight, including a home run. I tell you, he's a tough out. And, you know, I like the way, even though he's in that nine hole, that's a good spot. You'd like to have a little pop down there somewhere. We've got enough guys, I think, that can hit and do the job. And you, I think you want to spread them out somewhat. And uh, with him hitting down there at number nine spot, it's not an automatic out. And a lot of speed down there at the bottom part of this order for Tom Prince and a Wonderful victory tonight for the Toledo Mudhands after it looked like it was starting to go Nashville's way. Toledo comes back, gets the victory 2-0. Start to the season with game three coming up tomorrow night out here at Fifth Third Field.